I have been like interested in women like and I, I've been talking to women and I'm like into women now like I found a feeling of like <laughs> this is why I don't do videos with you <laughs> it's super epic <laughs> <laughs> Mom, get it together. What's good, Simply? It's your girl, Michelle, and I'm back with another video. I know you guys can tell by the title of the video, my mom is back on the channel. So make sure that you guys welcome her with some nice emojis down below. Say something nice to her down below in the comments. I love each and every one of y'all. Thank you so much for supporting my beautiful daughter. Thank you for loving me. If they love me, they gotta love you. Of course, Period. she's a part of me. Period. So basically what we're going to be doing today, originally we're supposed to be doing a mukbang, but we're not really hungry right now, so we just got some drinks from Dunkin' Donuts. I have a strawberry refresher. What you got, mom? Caramel frappe. Right. So basically, I asked you lovely, beautiful people to ask my mom a couple of questions just so you guys can get to know her a little bit better. I'm going to answer some of them with her, but for the most part, the floor is all on her. She's a special guest. So if you guys are excited, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and stop playing it, with your girl. Please hit it. Hit it. Click that bell so you're notified every time your girl uploads a new video. And without further ado, you ready for the first question? Let's get it. Let's go. First question. Um, I'm scared. Okay, don't be scared. What is your body count? Let me be honest. You know what that means? First and foremost, let me just break it down to y'all. I've always been physically fit. Used to work out all the time. Since my knee surgeries, I have blown up to the Goodyear blimp. So I don't like my body. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? My body count? I don't have one. Mom! I don't like my body right no, now. No! You don't know what body count is! <laughs> That's I don't. Right. I, don't. <laughs> I know, but I don't like my body, so I don't have No! How many sexual partners did you have? The body count me? Yes, Mom! Ah, oh, five. Oh, damn, you knew it right then and there? Who? I only you know want about me to two. Name the name? Maybe. I only know about two. Okay. No, don't say the name. That's too much. I was married. Don't talk about all of that, Ma. Next question. I'm just saying. I'm. I think that's See, pretty good to be my age. Don't ask me. I only got questions. five bodies. Don't I ask ain't her. scared to ask me. <laughs> I really don't like my body. How can we get some of Sandy seasoning? I haven't really even been cooking that much myself. I have to get it patented. It takes time. I'm working she be on procrastinating. No, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Just give me a Just give me. make a little okay, sample. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Whoever wants some SNS, hit Michelle up. But they gotta be subscribed to the channel. If you're not subscribed, you can't get no SNS. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Gotta but be subscribed. If you, if you really are a, a, a Simply Shell subscriber, I will send it to you. I promise. I got you. What was your most ratchet moment as an adult? We all had at least one or five. She be having ratchet moments every day, not just one. You and I were together. When? when? Don't put me in this. With that car accident. Oh, you yo. You know who was going? Oh, them hillbillies. You tell. You want to Okay, tell so we. I was pregnant mm. with Mia. I think I was like nine months pregnant. I don't know what happened. We were driving to go to the grocery store. This car cut my mom off. My mom is just like a firecracker, if you guys don't know, especially when you're putting my life or you know, her kids, whoever's in her car in danger. So my mom jumped out like, yo, what the hell? Because they cut us off. Mind you, I was like eight months pregnant. Long story short, we're not going to say their names because we don't even know, but I don't know what they were. And they were going off. They were calling us niggers. They literally were acting like they wanted to hit us. And we had to get Bucky. My mom was ready to catch a case. By the grace of God, the police came and everything was whatever. But that she left us. She actually banged on my car. She, that, that big overweight, hill, they were hillbillies. I'm she sorry. She banged I'm on our window. She banged, no, she banged on the hood, dented the hood of my car. Mind you, it was a Houthi, but still it was mine. Right. And my baby was pregnant too. My, no. She was no. trying to I get was the getting ready to catch a I was getting ready to catch a case because I was, no. It that that was the most. It, yeah, it, it, it left us one. feeling crazy for like the whole day. Like you know when you get into like if you have something that happens to you, you be pissed off for a little bit. We were pissed off for the whole day. No, I, I'm for me a week. Yeah, because it we couldn't believe it. Started making me really not to like certain. Because people. they they were calling us niggers. No. They said my nigger baby in my belly. Like I've never yes. experienced anybody with so much like hate towards like me being an African American woman. So that was definitely a crazy. That was experience. that was the worst one for me. I've had many. But that was number one. What's the craziest thing you caught Michelle doing when she was a teenager? She was so good. You didn't really give me a problem. Michelle was good. She was very spoiled. Um, 
You were very spoiled. But what did I did I do anything I'm bad? I'm trying to think. Every mother's dream of a daughter. I have two of them. So I didn't I do anything bad. No, you were a good girl. I, I, okay. No, let's go back. Wait, hold on. I'm just starting to refresh it's resurfacing. my mind. Yeah. When she was in high school, she didn't want to go to school. And I, I transferred. I moved from one town to another town. And this, the school that she was in all her life was majority Caucasians and a handful of African Americans. So when she came to the new town, it was the opposite. So once she was with all her people and the school allowed you to leave the grounds and go out and you didn't have to come back, she was cutting class. Who everything. didn't I don't cut? Know how she graduated. Mom, got the intellect, ma. Well, how about Jim? Who doesn't I gym. go to gym? Man. All you gotta do is participate. Mm -hmm. So you know what we had to do? You know what we had to do? Why you gonna blow me up? What we had to do? Every Saturday for two months, 7.30 in the morning, in order for her to walk the line and get that degree. And I did it with her. She came, they gave me two gym classes and my mom came and made sure I did all of the activities so I could pass. I, oh, every Saturday morning, 7.30. But that was grinding. Mind you, I work. Yeah, why did I have to take two gyms? I think because I need you needed, credits. you needed, yeah, you didn't want to do academics, so they gave you extra gym. That's why. No, I don't know. You what didn't it want was. to do. You didn't want to do. Band. No, I needed an extra you credit. Needed, yeah, because you didn't do nothing for the first three years of nine, ten, eleven. But did I straighten up? Yeah, and got a Regents diploma. And uh, got it. I did. I and graduated with college. high honors. Yes, high honors. Don't Regents. play with her. Did the damn thing and did some college. Have ev have you ever been recognized in public from being on Shell's channel? If so, what was it like? Yes. I have many people stop me in our local store. Oh my goodness, are you, I see you on Simply Shell's. Simply Shell's mom. Oh my God, I love you. Da, 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 da. E and M too. And, and, uh, you and I were driving, what, like a month or so ago? And we stopped at the red light and the car on the other side of us recognized you. You don't, don't remember. remember that? We were right in front of the Popo station at that light. And the people on the left side recognized you and they yelled. Remember? Mom, you're getting dementia. No, I'm not. That wasn't me. It wasn't me and her. It was you and I. Because you, Mom. they recognized Simply Shell. I'm telling you, I'm so proud of my daughter. You don't understand. And I'm so proud of her accomplishment. It makes me feel so good. You're sweet. Love but you daughter. always must remain humble and never forget that. Who taught you that? <laughs> Me. Oh. How does Mama Sandy unwind? And what do what do you like to do for fun? My grandchildren. Kids. I really don't have much of a life. I love being with my grands. What did you used games. to do before you were before a grandmother? Before I was a grandmother, yeah. I would basically we would do studio time, put some music on, you know, have a glass of Moscato. What's your favorite drink? Moscato. The pink stuff. And if I'm gonna have something hard, then a uh, white Russian. Oh but, no! Um, I, you brought it back. Yeah. You used to, is that the jelly. milk stuff, yeah. right? Yes. My yes. mom used to always drink those. White meat. Russian. I don't drink none of that. Uh, dark deal. liquor makes me a, a little. What happens? Uh, I'll, I'll knock your top off. Oh yeah. You give me dark liquor, I form transformer. Yeah, I fight. But, see, that's why. See, I, mm -mm. Don't give her none of that. I can't drink dark liquor, so I basically, and I have like two or three bottles of. One. I haven't had a drink in a long time. Yeah, I, I don't. Seen I don't you drink it. I don't have a desire but if i have company like i'll have a glass of wine or so or gel shots that, that, that's really good too. what was your very first date like going way back now now she's 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 an elder woman now so she I'm got to dig in i'm, like gonna, my age. I'm, I'm joking mom um your very first date because i'm going way back it's so long that's a long time y'all trying to remember she got to do some tinking Actually, it was nice. We went to the, uh, we have this really nice place where it's a lot of water, rocks. You could, you know, walk around and look. It's just, it's, it was a nice place. So we had something to eat and then we went down and we walked and we sat on the rocks and we talked and uh, got did to you, know each other. Did you kiss him on the first date? Absolutely not. Not even a peck? No. What about on the cheek? He kissed me on the cheek. But that's, uh, I don't play those. That's as far as you're going. First mm. base is the cheek. What if he would have kissed you on the lips? He got uh, popped in his lips <laughs> with the right hook. Uh-uh. <clears throat> I'm a Christian. 90 days. Okay. <laughs> on to the next. Wait. If you could change one thing about Shell's childhood, what would it be? And how do you think that would affect who she is today? Okay, that's two questions. So if you could change one thing about my childhood, what would it be? It would have been, I was a young mother. Mm -hmm. I would have been, a, I would have spent more time with her. 
and I would have changed some of my ways mm -hmm. because some of my things in my past affected my daughter. So I wish I could take that back. Mm -hmm. The last question. Up right now, I'm turned up. And it's just something in the, you know what it is. It's this guy, it's this refresher. D -D -D. We didn't even cheer us. What are you doing? You slacking. Come on, Spooch. all right. This is the ultimate. Have you ever, have you ever had any relations with a woman? Have you ever kissed a woman? Have you ever had a desire to be with a woman? Uh, absolutely no. Strictly dick. They asked me to answer I, this question. I, I have never. If I see a female and I think that she's pretty, there's nothing wrong with complimenting another woman. But for me, for myself, everybody has their own sexual preference. I believe in men. I love men. A woman can do nothing but just be my associate. This is my best friend. Everybody else is just an associate to me. So yeah, yeah I can't. Well, I, I mean, I really wanted to like do this video with you right now because I feel like it's appropriate and I don't know, I was kind of scared to do it by myself. I love it. It's fun. No, no, no. But like over like the last couple of years I haven't been truthful like I haven't been telling you the truth at all and I feel comfortable to say it now because I did a video asking them and they told me to tell you so I was like this can't okay. be me I have been like interested in women like I'm not happy like with Eddie and I, I've been talking to women and I'm like into women now like I found a feeling of like feeling like that for a woman so I wanted to tell you I don't know how you're gonna take it but I'm going to accept you for who you are. You know that I am really into the church. So I told you a long time ago that if you ever did that, that I would shun you out of my life. I can't do that. If that's something that you really want. But I have somebody and I want you to meet her. Psych! Okay. I'm fine with, listen, Michelle, I love you. Whatever decisions that you make in life, I'm fine with it. And I mean that from my heart. Don't ever be afraid to come to me with anything, especially something like that. But I just, if I can't help how I feel. It's this, just, it's, it's exactly. fighting. I felt like it was the enemy attacking well, me. I don't know why you this, didn't come the, to me earlier. You because might, of that, you made me feel before. I should have never said those things. And I can't come to you yeah. if you make me feel like I that. I don't want so. you to feel that way. If you want to experience something, who knows? Maybe that might change your life. My concern is my grandchildren, how they going to feel about it. My thing with women or with women and they have kids, the children grow up and think that that's okay. Are you pranking me right I'm pranking now? you. I should slap the flames out of you because you know how I feel about that situation. And I was really being serious. No, you wasn't. No, I really She's am. lying because we're on camera. No, She's I'm lying. Really, really been praying really hard. No, Prank I'm you. changing. Mom, you already know that I get it in and stop. I don't That's why want... you got three babies now. Don't nobody want none of that. I'm good with the Peter Piper Pick and Piper Pepper. So why would you do that? Babe? I prank you, you on that? purpose. You always doing that, Michelle. Say Team Shells down below. Team Shells. I got you, Mom. Why you how you was feeling, though, for real? How you was feeling? Are you, were you I, like no, a little bit concerned? I was shocked. I was worried about my grandchildren. Like, I don't want Larry and Mia to think that that's okay to licky licky. That's not. Mom! I can't talk about that because some people really I'm, like no, that. I'm sorry. And I didn't mean to offend anybody. Don't. Your sexual preference is your business. But I didn't raise my children like that because we're Christians. Sometimes you don't you raise your children like that. But, but it they doesn't matter what they you like. And, and I just said that, you know, if you decide to go that way, I really would support you. And anything that you do, no matter what it is, nah. as long as you're happy, mm -mm. you're happy. I'm with... good. This is where I've been at. Put your arms down, cause I'm smell something musky. You don't smell nothing musky. <laughs> <laughs> this pretty much wraps up my Q and A with my mom. I pranked her. She didn't give me the reaction that I wanted, but so what? It's still always a pleasure to have her on the channel with Thank me. Spend some time with me. I love you, mom. Thank you for being on the channel. I, love you more. I hope this video helped you guys to understand my mom a little bit more. If you guys want her to come back on the channel, y'all already know it's always a situation when she's here. Comment down below, Team Sandy. Comment down below, we miss you. Get this video a thumbs up. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn on post notifications on so you never miss when your girl uploads a new video. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok. All of that will be down in the description below. Today I'm gonna give a post notification notification shout out because I've really been slacking post notification shout out goes to Brandon I don't know if I'm saying it right Kita smooth as well as Halita Costa love you guys we love you so much thank you for your support thank you guys so much for watching I love you so much and I see you in my next video